questions from Paul. Starting lineups and now both of these two teams will start. Mike D'Antoni will insert Eric Gordon into the starting five with uh, the absence of West. The way he got into the starting lineup, his very first start was January 20th. So both teams trying to feel each other out here. It's actually the first time that they have faced each other since Houston made that big trade, shipping uh, Clint Capella out of town. As Danilo Gallinari gets the escape, he can punish switches in the post, and he gets to the free throw line. Harden misses on a three, then the rebound by Tucker, and the shot clock resets to 14 for Houston. Harden, here he comes, probing the defense. Gallinari is there. Shot clock down to three. Harden pulls the trigger and hits. Adams factors into this one. Another Houston turnover. Paul goes right around Harden. Everything but the finish. House was there. And back comes Houston. House made a great effort. A lot of guys would just let that play go after a turnover. Tucker. That's his spot. Threes for three straight years now. Made 90 during the regular season. Rockets a team that set an NBA record for made threes and attempted threes each of the last three years. And they have picked up where they left off. And the leading candidates for the NBA sixth man of the year was there. Corner three from House won't go. And both teams still stone cold. All trying to draw the contact. No whistle. Gallo thought about the three. Adams inside sheds the defender. Step. He has been so lethal staying off the bench this season for Billy Donovan. A finalist for sixth man of the year, and in my opinion, should win it. Mm. Jeff Green fakes the three, puts it on the deck, a little bit of contact, and he... Huge difference when it comes to recovery time. Rebecca, great point, and everyone, of course, keeping their fingers crossed, Stan, that there will be no positive tests. So, so Eric Gordon taking on here has been incredible. You are, you know, one thing about the schedule is Oklahoma City coughs it up there with Shooter and the paint. Yeah, there are some rumors that the league may try to condense the playoff schedule once they get past the first round. The product here the last couple of weeks. Yeah, it's their natural competitiveness coming out, and especially playoff time. These guys want to win these games. That's what they're here for. See, the defense collapsed down on a young man starting to put his game together. Terrific for them in the bubble. He averaged about 13 points per game here. And he put together three of his biggest scoring games of the season. Back to back to back 20 point performances. Here comes Rivers breaking down the defense, going right to the rack. Corner, good ball movement. Chris Paul, if you've just joined us, still looking for his first basket. He's now over five. Adams, the tip in. Go on the glass, and the way they make up with that is trying to create turnovers. In the bubble, they had the most steals and forced the most turnovers. That's so offensively. Here comes Paul inside. And they broke, unable to bank it home. Eric Gordon has been very, very aggressive tonight to attack the basket. A lot of people think of him just as a guy, as a shooter, but this guy's always been a good scorer when he's had the opportunity and had the ball in his hands, and he's been aggressive tonight. Baisley, the kick out, that is Mike Muscala. Well, that's why Mike Muscala is in the game, because he can shoot the three. But that's a great play by the young guy, Darius Baisley. Drive it hard to the middle, stay on the floor, pivot and make a great pass. And no rhythm whatsoever, and that's the reason he hasn't shot the ball as well. But we see that you can play well offensively in other ways, and he's been very, very aggressive going to the rim tonight. This is Gilgis Alexander. Thought about the step back now to Gallo. Shot clock down to three, puts it on the deck. Guarded tightly, fires long two and hits. Because as he creates the space, the defender wants to close that space, take it away. So they come toward Harden. He's jumping toward them. You're inevitably going to foul. When he creates the space on that step back, the result on that three, you cannot close down the space as Ben McLemore it's his third three. McLemore, three of four off the bench from downtown. He's got nine points. Gallinari. Still in a 15-point hole. I still don't like their offense. I mean, they're having to take contested shots. There's, there's no player movement at all. And you see them trying to just isolate it. Houston loading up their defense, ready to come to help. Harden again breaking him down. He's going to have to adjust what they're doing offensively. 
they literally have four guys there just staring at the ball as one guy goes one on one and the entire Houston defense is able to guard the basketball. Everybody's just looking at the ball. Shot Houston clock does five. a lot of that too, Spiro, but you can do that if you have a guy as great as James Hart. Tucker from D. What quickly became a uh, Golden State Warriors dynasty. Rockets fans have to be feeling pretty good about what they've seen so far here. Rockets have hit five straight shots. So they have built this lead. Adams, boy, nifty feet by the big in a couple of minutes. Now can the Thunder make a push here with under three minutes left before halftime? Paul steps into a three. That's good. 16 point Houston lead as we come up on the final two minutes before halftime. Schroeder to the rack. And Schroeder. Harden. Three to shoot. Let's a rip. A little bit too much. Covington trying to tap it. It's Paul. Here he comes down the paint. Taking flight. And here comes. Season. And so far, a good start here after a quiet start for Gallinari. 14 5 run until that. Adams left that one short. So final 42 seconds, second quarter. Jeff Green, who has led this second unit from Houston, 13 off the bench. Gordon hanging in midair, and he banks. Team point, Houston lead, 22 seconds left in the half. But let's remember, it was a 20-point lead when the Thunder went to this lineup, their best lineup, and they cut it to 13. Thunder out of fouls. Harden goes right around Schroeder, and he's headed to the... It was enough. There's P.J. Tucker. Longer three and the rebound pulled weak side by Danilo Gallinari. So, Stan, here we go. How does Billy Donovan get his team back into this one? Adams, but that'll help. He said, We have to play with more force on offense, keep getting to the free throw line. They're 14 for 17 there with that Adams for Houston. And guys, you have to remember though, OKC, the best comeback team in the league with 17 comeback wins. So, watching the guys walk. Acquired in that trade early February for Minnesota. Gallinari can't finish. Adams is there to claim for Adams and the Thunder as they sneak back to within 11. Well, that was good. I mean, they only had two offensive rebounds in the first half. They need to get on the glass. It's where they have a big advantage. Since the Rockets have gone small, they're the worst rebounding team in the league, and they need to take advantage. But again, lack of discipline. That's all set up. Because you got up on Gordon's shot fake, which allowed him to drive. You had to come and help, and you set up. Jumper, and suddenly Oklahoma City's offense back in gear. Here comes Harden. Gets his defender on his heels again. Stan, I don't think it's something you expected. Of course, all the talk about Houston kind of throwing all their chips to the table with that small ball approach. Shipping Clint Capella out of town in early February, just prior to the trade deadline. They've certainly gone all in. Gallo! Shot clock at seven. This is Shea Gilgis Alexander. He's had the sweet stroke this season, but not that time, not tonight. Gordon, boy, getting his shoulder in the your body in front of him. 16 points for Gordon in the first half. That was his first points in the second half. So he'll get a much deserved breather here. Harden. Quick trigger three. Third three of the night for Harden, 21 points. And now can CP3 get his... That's a long list of players who've had rough nights defensively <laughs> against James Harden. It's a great point. Max Lamar, boy, had the high... It was a great cut. And, and look, I, all shooters should be great cutters because people are going to want to deny you the ball because of the fear of the three. And you're going to have opportunities to back cut for layups. Here's Ferguson. That's a triple. Easley bounces inside. Out of Noel. Want to shoot? No. And a rebound by Harden. Houston's bench tonight stands shooting 79% from the field. Harden got it. Tonight stand. Such a good year for them. Year two in the league. First year with the Thunder. But he's one for seven tonight. Well, one of the problems that he's having, like the entire Thunder team, is Shea Gilgis Alexander is one of 13 guys in the league who scorched in Rockets are there in the gaps, making it tough to get to the rim as Harden knocks down another four. Eight straight for Houston, largest lead of the.
Now, one of the drills you do to teach positioning defensively, one of the most remedial drills, Spiro, is the shell drill, where the ball just moves around and no players move. That's what Oklahoma City is allowing Houston to do defensively all at all as Gordon gets the fortuitous roll. But as good as he's been tonight, Stan, that's his first three-pointer in the game and a quick... You never you quite just, understood the whole heat-check phenomenon. You're just testing your hotness, Coach. Yeah, well, your hotness comes because you're a good shooter getting good shots, so keep working to get those good shots. I'm not going to win this argument, so I'll give up. That's a three for their seeding games. They split the eight games that they played. Of course, Dennis Schroeder was gone. Paternity leave after his, his wife gave birth to their second child. And so there, there was not the continuity. That Contact. I, I like the way Steven Adams has played in the second half. Really all night. Uh, Able to take advantage of the free throw line. This is Daniel House. A little bit short as Houston Stan has cooled off a little bit from three. But their lead still at 17 points. Gallo on a deep three. That's good. Can be a little bit better and they can get some stops. Yes, they'll have a chance to get back into this, but they need stops. You can't even think of trading baskets down 14 with seven minutes to go. 29 points for Gallinari. That was his second three of the night, but Harden tonight for Mike D'Antoni and the Rockets. Look, with Russell Westbrook out, they've gotten exactly what they needed, and that is typical performance out of particularly Eric Gordon, Jeff Green, and Ben McLemore, and then their defense has been outstanding. Three-pointer by Tucker. Little misdirection by Gilgis Alexander. Good ball movement. Back inside to Gilgis and ran a cut. It's amazing what a little bit of ball and player movement can do to get you better shots, and we haven't seen much of that out of the Oklahoma City Thunder tonight. For a rare chance. That's a long three by Harden. And you know, Stan, it just shows you how crazy the NBA playoffs are. You know, you think no Russell Westbrook advantage, Thunder. And then you look up and you see this score as Paul hits a ramp in Houston. Gordon turned aside. Here comes Paul, open floor. Another reset. It's another three from. Which is why they're so special to him. Plus, he's been active at North Carolina A&T, setting up internships and creating a course in the business of sports media and entertainment. Paul is all about the action. These players you know, take such a, a leading role in the, the social justice fight during this time, stand in our country, and of course CP3 right at the forefront of that group. No yes. question. Harden, pretty driving. Try to go one on one, got shut down, throws it to Chris Paul. Who goes one on one with everybody standing around? Um, I just think heading into game two, the Thunder have got to get more movement offensively against this Rocket defense. Jeff Green to the rack. What a night. Just about everybody on this Rockets team tonight has been fantastic. This is a great playoff performance by this team. Here 12 for Green as hard goes right down the like that to begin the playoffs. Gonna find about oh, a lot about that Bucks team down the stretch. Round matchup there. Stan, give us your quick take on that series. What do you expect? Well, they're Portland's certainly going to challenge the Lakers' defense. It's an outstanding defense. Portland can really score. Um, I would really match up with LeBron James, but with the injury early in the year to Rodney Hood, with Trevor Ariza opting out, I just think the matchups are going to be too tough. And I think Zach Collins is a guy who would have been somebody they would have tried, and now he's hurt. So I think it's a little too much. Can they get a game or two? Can they make it interesting? Yes. Brian Anderson and Chris Webber will have the call coming up right here on TNT. Mean one, a game one down.